Welcome back to Gamers Funlane. Today we're going to continue playing The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. So last time we escaped jail, we put on the cloak that Link or the Swordsman got, and uh, so it acts as a disguise, and we started exploring Hyrule. We got here to Southern Village, found out where warp points are, and now we're over here. Did we enter this cave? Can't remember. I don't think we did. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I have started playing the game on a second save file. So, yeah. That's cool, I guess. Um. Have we entered this cave? Yeah, this is actually the cave where we got the egg diesel, I believe. Okay. Uh, we can go this way. Hopefully eventually we got a faster attack. Like a faster spin. Because like, right now it is the best. Actually, so right now we actually want to go back to Southern Village. Which is right here. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Southern. Uh, we're just going to go back to this guy's house because there's an echo in here. So if we go here. Copy this. We got meat. Okay. I believe we have three heart pieces. Yeah. So we could try to get uh, one more this episode. That'd be good. But yeah. Uh, we already opened that chest to try to remember what we did. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. As a side say, watch out for monsters hiding in the grass. I believe we only got those guys. Yeah, ropes. Okay. Here's the rift. What's this way? I'm going to try my best to explore because there are quite a few secrets. As you can see, this map is humongous. <laughs> so, yeah. There's this cave. We definitely did not go here. Ooh! There's a heart piece. We need that. And I think this is actually a new enemy. Um. Okay, I think we should try burning him, I think. Um. Okay. Well, that works, I guess. He's getting burned. Aha! Uh, now... Uh, drop this guy. Get rid of him. I learned this. What is this? The Carmadillo. Okay. And I guess we could summon one of these guys to charge through this. Oh, uh, floral nectar. Also, yesterday, or when I recorded the last episode, um, I had to save the game, and when I saved the game, it actually unlocked the Amiibo ability, so how this works is that if I get my Ganondorf Amiibo, the Tears of the Kingdom Ganondorf, I can scan it, I got two monster stones, these are these form the bodies of monsters, so unlike Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild, how this works is that you can scan three Amiibo a day, so yeah, this is the Tears of the Kingdom Link Amiibo. Five portions of radiant butter. Okay, let's try and scanning it as Zelda Amiibo. Okay, two Zelda 35th anniversary. Uh, go to Amiibo. Five pieces of chili cactus. As you can see, uh, we can't use any more. And it pops up at the right. Oh, another carbonillo. And here's a heart piece. I should make another heart. You got four pieces of heart. Your maximum number of hearts has been decreased, and they've been filled. Yay, now we have four. Okay, let's exit. Okay. So. Um, oh, that's a new enemy. Um, let's try using our Carmadillo. So far, that seems to be working pretty well. We only have three triangles, though. So we can only spawn one at a time. Okay. And what is this? 
You learned to spear moblin echoes. Oh, so that's not a Pokemon, that's a moblin. Yeah, it makes it. Uh, they actually, in Breath of the Wild, Moblins are actually tall and skinny, but they're actually, like, short and fat, usually. But now we can get one of these fairies, because last episode we got a fairy bottle, and we just run into a fairies while you have an empty fairy bottle. You can just get the fairy. Writing's on the other side. Southern Perry, Southern Ruins. Um. What's this? Hmm? <coughs> was, th was this a where we were supposed to go? Looks like the rift's blocking the door. Zelda, I rolls to bed rifts. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together, fixing up rifts. Normally, my friends will fix, uh, fix them quickly, so it's weird that this is still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Zelda, will you investigate with me? I'm guessing my friends are in the rift. If we can find them, we can bend this rift easily. Will do. This way, we'll need to find an entry point. So we have to enter the rift, it seems like. Oh, this is a big rift. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Ooh. Meat. Okay. In case you didn't echo it. Um... I think we want to defeat all these guys. Um. Oh, they're attracted to the meat. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, we just spam these carmadillos. And dodge as many um, spears as we can. And there. And that unlocks that chest. Okay. Let's go here. I don't think our trampoline high enough. Do I do that? And... Uh, let's just pull out some old pads. Okay, old-fashioned way. And, um... You can... Uh, where's last learn? Yes, that's what we want. No, I did not need to fall. I think that bed is disappearing. Um... There, use the trampoline. And there, we got grapes! Ten bunches of refreshing grapes. Okay. Get rid of all of those. And destroy that. Ooh, we want to go down there. Uh, I think we could just, yeah, spin here. And let's use our ropes. Okay. And they're all just attacking him. Good. Um, get rid of all those ropes. We don't need them anymore. And it's a new echo. What is this? The brazier. Okay. Guess if I can make fire. Okay. This cave we've also not been in. Lots of grass. And. Ooh. Oh, so these guys are actually called pea heads, and they're weak, weak to fire. So if I just do that, you can see they start burning like crazy. They are grass. And we can echo it. They say the pea hat. Okay, not pea head, pea hat. Um, and I think that's it for this cave. Okay, well, there's some rupees. Rupee. Rupee. And Rupee. We have 59 because we spent like 80 on a heart piece. Hopefully we can get back to 100. So yeah, let's go out. Okay. Back here. Let's go back on track. Alright, going here. Uh, getting a trampoline. Jumping away. Oh, another warp point. Okay. We have to get as many of these as possible. Waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here. Okay. Nice. And oh. What's this? That's a big rift. It was a glowy part. I knew it. I can sense my friends in there. But they can't move. 
It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rift at all. I think we'll have to go in there and help them. Then we could deal with this rift properly. We could save them if we work together, Zelda. So what do you say? Um, sure. Oh, let's try doing. Hmm. Oh? What's it doing? It's a big yellow hole. Alright, we can get in there now. Let's go save my friends. So we can just jump in. Enter. Yeah, we can just jump in now. And... Still Southern Forest. Um... This is the still world. Everything you see floating around here was stuck through a rift. So this is a still world. This is how it looks inside the rift. It's interesting. Anything that ends up here will begin to completely break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have been ended up in rifts though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. Okay, the mysterious rifts. So we could just do some platforming. Oh, what's this? This doesn't look good. Oh no. Oh, um, right. Oh, oh, it spawns enemies. Okay, that's not nice. Let's get our ropes. Um. Okay. This guy's just destroying. No, I don't want to target the ropes. There. Oh, he charged off. Okay. Uh, let's do some platforming across these trees. Who's that? Oh, this is the person that got sucked into the rift. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify, can't move anymore. If they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. But we have to save them. But that will happen to you, Zelda. You're special. Oh, that's good. Enter this cave. And there's dark keys. Um... Okay, could use some echoes to defeat them. Um, no. We could try using our P hat echo. Um, okay, good. Jump here, jump here. Okay. Okay, get rid of that. Destroy that. Uh, or not destroy it, jump by it. And that opens the door. Okay. And... Oh, there's a lot of slimes. We can't echo these shadow things. Um... Ooh. Honey. I would like that. Or floral nectar. We got our carbonillos out. Okay, rupees. Um, do that. Do that. Good. That's all, Rab. And that opens the staircase. Okay, let's. Oh, still Southern Forest. So that's already entered. Now we're up here. Okay, so there's one way, two way, and three way. And also another. Shadow Blob. Yes, we're going to call him Shadow Blobs. Um. Okay. A lot of rupees. Oh no. I did beat. Okay. You could try using a Carmadillo. Um, I think we should use a P hat. Ouch. Oh no, this is not good. Um, I don't exactly know what the pee hat is attempting to do. Um, uh, this is not good. Okay, the keys is, is dead. And so is the bottle head, okay. Let's go down here. Jump. Jump here. 
Okay, this is just a chest. Oh, first we have to defeat this Bacoblin. Use our Carmadillo. Um, do that. Get there. Get rid of the Carmadillo. Open this. That's 50 rupees. Okay, that's good. We're back to 122. You actually eat these. Like, we have grapes. These uh, heal half a heart. So, that's nice. Let's go up here. Okay. Jump. Still Southern Forest. The Shadow Blob is gone. It'll just spin through all this grass. Because they could drop hearts and rupees. So, yeah. Now let's go to the right. See, look, rupees. Seems like they drop more rupees than hearts. That's okay. Tree platforming. And, oh, just a blue rupee. Okay. Jump here. Go here. And now we could go to the left. Oh, is that Mr. Lefty? Left? I think that's Mr. Left. Hey, I remember this one from the castle. I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rift. Okay. Uh, let's go here and- ooh, what's this? Is this a dungeon? This is where we were trapped not too long ago. Oh, so this is, uh, where we played as Link. Interesting. Okay. In the very beginning of the game. We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting it there. So, first. Southern Ruins. Okay. First, activate this. And this waypoint has been recorded. So, yeah. Let's go here. Destroy that. Oh, Nectar. So, yeah, this is a dungeon. Well, we have to press the button, but it's being blocked by whatever this is a giant boulder that we can't echo. This is a pretty big rock, huh? You know, I when I'm fish, uh, fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability, I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you guide me with the rod, I can move things for you based on your movement. Try facing this boulder and then guide me by pressing X. So, oh, oh wrong way. Ah, we're bound together. Okay, now try moving. Bind. Press X to guide Try. The monster object that Try binds to will follow your movements. You can also use ZL to target whatever you want Try to bind to. Ah, so this is called Bind. I like to call it Ultra Hand because it's literally just that. It's Ultra Hand for Tears of the Kingdom. It was even green as you saw. So, uh, except the building part, but you can attach it to basically anything, and it'll follow you. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, you can press this. Okay, let's go up here, and move this. There's a ladder over there. Um, we have this one green ruby. Let's go here, and ooh, there's something over there. We're going to go back to old bed platforming. We're going to be doing this a lot in this game. Let's go here, and oh, it's this. Go use mine to pull it out, just like we d use Ultra Hand to pull chest out. I got five portions of butter. Okay, I right, have ten radiant butter. Let's go through that ladder now. We don't have the dungeon map yet. So, yeah, I like Tears of the Kingdom. We actually have to... The dungeons in this game are more like the dungeons from, like, the original Zelda games. So you have to find a dungeon map. So, yeah, but the dungeon map also counts as the compass in this game. So, yeah. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's go here, and here, and this guy's new, ouch! He's an enemy, okay, I can see that. Uh, we could try using our spear, a uh, moblin, not a coblin. Can he throw? 
Um. Okay. Um. Oh. There's this one, which may be easier to defeat. No. Oh, uh, can we? Ah, we can pull it off like that. Um. Okay. And what is this? It's a Stantula! Okay. So, those Stantulas are actually pretty interesting. Um, you can do that, and you can see it makes a web that we can then climb. Like this. Oh, you can open this. And this is the dungeon map. You can now see the dungeon layout in the area of the still world. Okay, so you can see this is the entire map. And there's also a second floor. So, let's... No, uh, no, no. Let me... Uh, okay. Let's create another one over here. Go up here. Okay. Jump this way. Create this thing. Um, or we could just... Create this over here. Do that. Those guys take up two triangles, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, I remember this part. This is the elevator, yeah. And ooh, an egg diesel. Uh, oh, why not? Not the pea head. Let's go with the carbonello. Okay, egg diesels are powerful because they can burn the enemy because they're fire. So yeah. Last episode we echoed uh, Egg Diesel. This should take us to floor two, I believe. So yeah, jump up here. Let's go this way. And ooh, this guy is new. Uh, we fought these as Lake. Uh, they're tough as Zelda. Ouch. Okay, so good thing we had that fairy, otherwise. We would have died. Um, throw the sphere. Um, you can actually lift these guys, it seems like. The uh, moblins. Okay, good. Hearts. And this. You learned the dark nut echo. Okay. Um,. Spot this here to go up here, and out of this is the main way, or if the other way was. Um, I feel like this is the main way. Let's go the other way then. Um, oh, there is nothing here. Okay, so let's go back here and go here. Are we on- yeah, now we're on floor two. Okay. Um... Ah. So it seems like we have to burn all these. So we could just take our Igni's hole, do that. Uh, lift this. Throw it. Cool. Could use mine to move this down there. And we could burn this using- no. Um, using our egg diesel. Um, yeah, it's burning all of that. Which should burn, yeah, burns that torch. Or brazer, or whatever it's called. And, ooh, nectar. Can't touch these, unfortunately, because then I get burned. Okay, ooh, uh, go here. Jump off the ladder. And... Check this. Now we can warp over here. So that's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers before the year ends. So if you could subscribe, that help a ton. You can like and share the video so it becomes a bit more popular and a bit more suggested. But that's it for today, friends. Bye!